is a brand new selection pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel that unlock the full power of Yugi Modo. And this deck focuses on one of the most popular cards in Yugi's deck. This iconic Yugi monster just got revamped for the better. Without further ado, time to unlock the full powers of Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beasts. Let's begin. Introducing the brand new 25th anniversary Unity Double Deck Box. Holographic design inside and out and made with premium leather. Each deck box includes three leather dividers, one metal field center, and one TSX-1 attribute dice. Save the drop date now, April 12, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard at TSX1.com. Get your limited deck box now at TSX1.com. Ladies and gents, the brand new selection pack, Nightmare Arrivals, is officially here. Chimera, the king of Phantom Beasts. This card is always treated as Chimera Flying Mythical Beast. And did you guys know that Gazelle first appeared in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters anime in the Battle City arc in episode number 56 when Yu-Gi dueled against the Rare Hunters? Chimera's got brand new support. Gazelle got support. You know what I'm saying? Now he has two heads. Well, he always had two heads, but like... This deck is absolutely powerful, and the fact that Yugi get brand new support in 2024 makes me super duper happy. In today's video, we're going to showcase you guys the deck profile. Some bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to playing this deck. And last but not least, we're going to hop into Master Duel Ranked to send all our portraits to the Shadow Realm with Yugi's brand new Chimeras. Tonight, guys, the brand new Unity Collection is dropping at TXX1.com. Save the date if you guys haven't the date saved already. Tonight, 8 p.m. EST. The brand new Unity deck box is dropping live at TX1.com. Only 500 deck boxes are going to be available. And once they're gone, they're gone forever. The Unity deck box is the deck box celebrating 25 years of Yu-Gi-Oh! So guys, get a piece of history today. One of the hottest drops on TX1.com. And also help support the channel as well. So guys, save the date. 8 p.m. EST tonight. tonight. I'll catch you guys on the live stream where I'm actually going to be playing this deck on live stream and all the new cards in the selection pack tonight. See you guys tonight at 6 p.m. EST. We're going to hop into Master Duel Ranked, send our opponents to the Shadow Realm with this brand new Chimera deck. Let's start with the deck profile real quick. Ladies and gents, here we have it. This is the brand new Chimera Yugi deck. Yes, I'm playing Brandon's, and the reason why Brandon's is so well and it meshes really well with this deck is because of Brandon Fusion. Brandon Fusion is absolutely insane. It's a one card Rimbrum. And what Rimbrum does is that it requires following the Albaz of one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster. And the card that you're going to dump to the graveyard is Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beast. So this is Gazelle Retrained, uh, which is absolutely amazing. This is Gazelle, King of the Mythical Claws. And when this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material, you can add one illusion monster directly from an extra hand. And the illusion monster you're going to add is, of course, Mirror Sword Knight. And this card is a one card combo, five interruptions. And with just one card uninterrupted, you have five interruptions, which is insane plus nine cards in your hand on the starting turn. So this card right here is one of the best cards in the entire deck. One of the best one card starters that this deck and this game has ever seen. Uh, the entire goal with this deck is trying to get access to Chimera, the King of the Phantom Beast, as quickly as possible. This card loops the card out of your opponent's hand. And on top of that, you can banish yourself from the graveyard to try one Beast, Fiend, or Illusion Monster in Graveyard during your opponent's turn and summon it. And your goal is to basically interrupt your opponent with this and also OTK your opponent with Chimera, the Illusion Beast. On top of that, getting you access to Guardian Chimera. A deck that can play Guardian Chimera is obviously branded. So branded, combining itself with the Chimera engine makes this deck an uh, unstoppable force. The deck is just very, very strong. So you have interruptions with Guardian Chimera. You have interruptions with Chimera King and the Phantom Beast. And on top of that, this deck just focuses on one card combos. And with Brandon Fusion, which is a one card combo, this is a one card combo. And also Mirror Sword Knight is a one card combo. You can end on the boards with multiple disruptions on your side of the field. Super Poly is amazing in this deck because, you know, a lot of people would be playing this deck and playing the Mirror to Super Poly your opponent's entire board to help, you, uh, to help you get access to your extra deck plays like Draco Sepalia, Garura, Mud Dragon is also very very strong so yeah this is the deck this right here uh the whole deck just focuses on fusion summoning into your phantom beast 
Use summoning to your guardian chimeras to get advantage. And whenever these cards are used as a fusion material, things happen. When this card is used as a material, adds, of course, an illusion card directly from deck to the hand. When Birth Event is summoned, which is the best card in the entire deck, what you do is that you want to use Mirror Sword Knight to summon this card directly from the deck. And this card adds two cards, whatever it's normal summon or special summon. And it's also really great because this deck kind of loses to Imperm and also Veiler. But cards like Chimera Fusion helps you play around that. So if you, they try to Imperm you, or Veiler you, you can use Chimera Fusion to easily dodge that by quick fusioning into Chimera King of the Phantom Beast. And this card being able to add, of course, Kit, which is why Brandon just works really well because this card's a beast. And also a Chimera Fusion directly from the deck to hand is very strong. And on top of that, guys, Chimera Fusion says if you control Chimera and the Flying Mythical Beast, which you do because this card's name is always treated as that, you can add this card from the Griever to your hand. And this card is not once per turn to activate. The effect to add itself for the river to hand is once per turn but if you have multiple copies of chimera fusion in your opening hand you can activate multiple fusion spells on the exact same turn this deck is absolutely scary and i cannot wait to showcase you guys on the true power of this brand new yugi deck without further ado let's go on with some of the bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to playing this brand new deck right here all right ladies and gents welcome to the brand new chimera combo section of today's video i'm gonna showcase you guys the bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to playing this deck the whole goal with this deck right here is to get access to some of the most important cards in your extra deck that's why cards like polymerization is actually very powerful in your starting hand especially combining off with cards like fallen albaz and also your edge in cards to help you get access to your lumelion plays into your mirror jade before even committing into your normal summon of mirror sword knight the combo goes is the one card combo is cornfield quarto and what this card does that you can activate this card's effect right here you get to search Mirror Sword Knight directly from the next to the hand. I'm sure we'll you guys the one card combo real quick. So the combo is either, you know, starting off with this or starting off with Mirror Sword Knight in your first opening hand. You have the full combo uh, for this Chimera Fusion deck. And what this deck is good at is recursion. The fact that it's able to play turn three is what makes this Yugi deck very terrifying. The cards are so powerful. You guys will see the, the floating ability that this deck has, the way that it floats, the way that it searches everything makes this deck really really scary so obviously starting off with Kodo really hurts you into draw but starting off with mirror sword knight doesn't hurt you to draw but it hurts you to ash well all lines hurt to ash blossom right but this is what you do you normally summon, uh, of course mirror sword knight activate sword knight's ability tribute itself to special summon of course birth from it directly from the deck the og yugi card activate of course big wing birth from it here you got retrained to search chimera fusion and also yes a mythical claw directly from the deck to the hand now what's gonna happen next is that you can activate chimera fusion uh, right here using of course the birth from it and also the gazelle to make right here chimera the king of the phantom beast so use birth from it and also gazelle that's in your hand summon phantom beast all right and what does this give you well you loop a card out of your opponent's hand for one and for two the recursion begins right here so now you want to activate this of course chimera chain like one gazelle chain like two and this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion summon you can add one illusion monster directly from your deck to your hand. So you can activate this card's ability. You can add illusion monster directly from the deck to the hand. And you can activate Birth from Ed's effect right here to basically target one of your uh, cards in the graveyard and special summon it. So the card you want to target is the Mirror Sword Knight. So you summon it to your field, which is insane. Summon it right here. Claw's going to activate. You can either uh, add a Quoto or a Sword Knight. Usually I search Quoto just for follow up for the following turn. It's, it's basically the same thing right here and this is going to loop a card on your opponent's head now we want to activate chimera fusion's effect is that if during your main phase if this card is in your graveyard and you control chimera and the flying mythical beast on your field or in your graveyard you activate this effect add this card to your hand banish this card special in both one gazelle from your grave and one board from it from your deck all right but we're not going to do that we're going to use this ability to add this card to our hand because it's absolutely free and by the way guys it is not once per turn by the way uh chimera fusion so you can actually activated again to help you get access to chimera the illusion beast for your OTK plays but we're going first we're just going to set with this and then we're going to end our turn okay so what does this get access to well this card right here during your opponent's turn you can banish this card from your graveyard target one beast fiend or illusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it this right here mirror sword knight says uh when your opponent monster activates the effect while you control chimera the flying mythical beast you can banish this card from your field of graveyard and negate the effect this card also is a negate as well for targeting while you control the phantom beast on the field and your turn you actually you resolve this card's ability do a card on your opponent's hand you have one two negates uh recursion 
and so much more. So now we actually get to use Mirror Sword Knight during the draw phase, tribute itself, and do the exact same thing. You get to add Birth from it here, and then activate Birth from it here. Look at this. Look at this engine, guys. Look at this. Adds a Gazelle. Uh, yes, adds another Chimera. Look how crazy this is. And then now you have access to Guardian Chimera plays right here. So you have Guardian Chimera pops, banishes card, continue off with your combos. I'll show you guys where this is how this is gonna be in. Sure. Yeah. Idea, no problem. Cool. Uh, Mirror Sword Knight is, is gonna activate its effect. Uh, this is gonna activate its effect, right? Negate it. You know, that's one negate already. Cool. Amazing. Yes. So you see that? That's one interruption. And now we activate Chimera. Of course, fusion. Uh, we can fuse these two using this. And also this. And also Gazelle in your hand. Using these three. Look. Look how many cards is in your hand, guys. Remember, we just did all this with one card. One card. Now we do the exact same chain links again. Chimera. Chain link two. Chain link three. Look how crazy it is. Look how crazy it is this. And then we can go chilling for this effect as well. Banish itself from the grave. Especially on Birth from it. Like, look how crazy this is. Ladies and gents, look, look how crazy this is. Summon this. Look at this. This is off just one card, by the way. Off just one card. We can add this again for the next turn. Like, we already have so many cards in our hand at this point, right? Pops two. Adds, draws one and pops two. Oh, you guys see that? You start off your turn theoretically with how many cards? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One card gives you two negates, two pops, and nine cards in your hand. So it's two negate, one targeting, one mirror sword knight, one phantom beast rip, two pops with chimera, nine cards in hand. Right? For this instance, we could use polymerization to use edge and also fallen albas to make Lubelion. Like this board was guaranteed Mirror Sword Knight and more with Chimera and five disruptions plus Mirror Jade. And God knows if you have any other non-engine in your opening hand like Ash, Imperm, Veilers, Maxis, your opponent is not meeting that. Your opponent is not meeting that. This is the one card combo that makes this Yugi deck super duper scary, ladies and gents. This Chimera deck is scary. Let's go on to the next combo before we get started with the Master Duel Ranked Game Modes. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gents, the next combo is going to require you just to have one card, which is Branded Fusion, okay? Branded Fusion does so much for this deck. Obviously, summoning Alibur is not going to be a very good thing because you need to normal summon your Mirror Sword Knight, but Branded Fusion basically helps you get access to Mirror Sword Knight for absolutely free. So we're going to go Branded Fusion right here. We are going to uh, summon Rim Rimbrum right here. We're going to send Mythical Claw and also Albaz. Summon Rimbrum right here. Okay, and then we're gonna activate, of course, Rimbrum's effect. Just pretend his Alibur isn't here. The re okay, just pretend his Alibur isn't here. We're just gonna add, uh, you know, Quoto here, and then we go Quoto activates effect. All right, search Mirror Sword Knight, and then we get to normal summon Mirror Sword Knight here. That's why uh, Alibur isn't isn't really that good because if you open Al Alibur, uh, you have to it requires you to waste your normal summon, and you want to use your normal summon for Mirror Sword Knight, uh, obviously. So Alibur is just not that great in that sense, but Alibur is still an insane one card combo into your branded fusion, right? So obviously you don't always have to play uh, the Chimera way uh, by going to Rimbrum and setting a Mythical Claw to add Sword Knight. You can just play regular straight up branded to get you access to Mirror Jade alongside with all the other cards in your hand. Like in this instance, we have like Patchwork and stuff like that. So we could have done so many other things, but I just want to show you guys what one branded fusion is able to do for you guys in this deck right here. Uh, you're going to special summon, of course, the Birth from it. And it's the exact same thing, but you have Rimbrum on the field, right? So you go this here, of course, search this and then add Gazelle. And then the combos are the exact same by just going into Chimera Fusion here. I'm not going to use Alibur for anything whatsoever. We're just going to showcase you guys the power of just the Red Fusion. Just pretend this Alibur is not here. All right. And then we trigger off this ability and trigger off Birth Met's ability as well to basically bring back uh the mirror sword knight so you can tag it out during your opponent's turn and it's just like the same old same old right so boom loop out card on your opponent's hand and this will get to add itself back to your hand absolutely amazing and you guys get where this is, is going right it's the exact same thing 
but you have Rimmer on the field. When a fuse and synchro exceeds or link monster effects activated, you can eat that effect and you can return one monster on the field to the hand. If, for instance, if you need more draws off Guardian Chimera, you can bounce back your own monsters to your hand in that case. Uh, so that way you can use two materials from a hand and one material on the field to make Guardian Chimera. Or you can just return a monster on your opponent's field to the hand, which is a compulsory and also negate. And during your opponent's turn, while this card is in the graveyard, you try one Fallen Alabaster in your grave, especially either that monster or this card. And you basically summon Alabaster on your opponent's turn as another disruption to help you get access to your Mirror Jade, right? Which is insane. So this is your end board right here. You nuke a card on your opponent's hand, and then you just start off with uh, Mirror Sword Knight. You know what I'm saying? Like, here we go. Mirror Sword. Do the exact same thing that I showcased you guys last time. Summon Birth from it here. Activate its effect right here. You guys know where this is going. It just gets even more insane, right? And the cards advantage that you have in your hand is just absolutely ridiculous. So you guys know where this is going again. Go this. If you guys want to draw, you know what I'm saying? You can just uh, go into this here. You can use this. And you can just use two cards in hand, right? It doesn't matter. Use two cards in hand. Okay, here we go. For this case, we, we only need to pop one because your opponent has one anyways, right? So we just use our abilities right here. So we'll go chilling one. Pop this. Chilling two. Right? And then chilling three. So like, it's just the exact same recursion over and over and over again. Which one makes this deck scary? So Stormforth, that's fine. Here we go. Here we go. Some of this. Add this to our hand. Draws two. Pops one. That's fine. And then that's it. And then, you know, on our turn, it's just like a bunch of steamrolling from here, right? So, yeah, you start off with the turn with this many cards in your hand. Look at how many cards you have in your hand, guys. This is off one branded fusion, by the way. One branded fusion is even more insane than the one Mirror Sword Knight. So, guys, this is, these are the combos that you want to try to aim towards when it comes to playing this deck. I won't waste any more time. Without further ado, let's hop into Master Duel Rank to send all our opponents to the Shadow Realm. Let's begin. All right, guys. We're going first. Ash Blossom, Cornfields, Mirror Sword Knight, Super Poly, Chimera Fusion. The only thing we lose to is, of course, an Ash Blossom. We do this to speed out Ash. Yeah, he has Ash. Oh, yeah. He's going he's gonna to save it. I want to play around Ash. He has Ash for sure. He has Ash for sure. Oh, he has Droll. Wait, what? How come I can't do this? All right. He has Droll here. I guess this is fine. Some of this. He has Droll, right? Oh, so you have to use a monster from the hand and the field. You can't use both monsters from the hand. So what I did was correct. And then we summon back, of course, Mirror Sword Knight. And then we combo off the exact same way on your opponent's turn. So you play through Droll. We're also looping a card out of your opponent's hand. So chilling one, chilling two. Oh my god, this hand, this deck is so broken. It doesn't even matter, bro. It doesn't even matter what he has. We have access to Guardian Chimera regardless. Valor, okay. So we already nuked the card out of his hand. Like Valor was good. Like, like, like Valor, like this card did its job, you know? And also we can just protect it. So now he's losing another card out of his hand. Lose another card out of his hand. God damn. So starting off with two cards. Imperm, it did its job even more. It nuked the card out of his hand. He's starting with three cards in his hand. He's starting off with three. Like, you guys like see what it's doing, right? Like, it still did its job nuking a card out of your opponent's hand. It just, it still did a job. You know what I'm saying? Only unfortunate thing is that we can't add Chimera Fusion back. So that's, that's the only good thing that it, it did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, because it's no longer treated as Chimera, Chimera, the flying mythical beast, right? That's fine. I think we do this here now. Still really strong. Maxi. Ash, I'm, I'm gonna have to ash it. No, no, no doubt about it. Gotta ash this. This guy opened up every hand trap, by the way, ladies and gents. Open up every hand trap. Mirror Sword is gonna bring out this. Absolutely. And then it's gonna use the effect right here. Uh, I'm gonna add this. And also add the Chimera Fusion. And if it's sent to the graveyard. If this card is in the graveyard, it's a fusion material, yeah. Unfortunately, we, we don't have Guardian Chimera access. Mirror Incest. Okay. The one card combo deck, though. I do respect it. I do respect it. Sea Angel's broken. Yep. At least he did start off with Blue Tank. Blue, blue, blue Tank would have been insane. Yeah, this negates it. Remember, guys, Mirror Sword Knight is also in the gate in the graveyard, which is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, guys. You already had it in hand? 
Okay, he's nice. Yeah. Yeah, these two. I don't think this guy still. I don't think this guy can beat me though. That's cool. Yeah, he's summoning these two. Then I'm gonna super poly him right now. Super poly. These two. Garura. Then it's game over. Yeah, there, there, there needs to be two water on the field somehow. You know, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the scoops. This deck does that, guys. Honestly, if you can't stop the first mirror sword night, like it's really hard for you to win, to be honest. Look, guys, and that was through four hand traps. Four flipping hand traps to play through. Droll, Valor, Imper, and Maxi, because we had Ash. So like crazy. You should just start off with the Maxi. Alright, ladies and gents, here we go. We're going second this time. Going second is completely okay. You can still break boards going second. Going second, you just OTK your opponent, right? We got Edge M Chain Maxi. Uh, this hand is really good at actually breaking boards here. As long as we get access to, of course, Mirror Sword Knight first. Well, this is the one card combo, right? Like, Brand Fusion is a one card combo, which helps you get access to Mirror Sword Knight with fairly ease. So, Alistair. Alistair is fine. I think the best thing to do now is go to Maxi because he, he can get access to Skier Guard now. So, I just want to just cheese more draws this way. So, if he ashes here, it's completely fine. Like, I I, I want my Brand Fusion to resolve. That's, yeah, that's all that matters. I just want Brand Fusion to resolve. So, he, so, this indicates that he has no Ash Blossom. He can't Maxi us on his turn. We're pretty much good to go. All right. We're pretty much good to go. Edge him chained. And we can't... Okay, we just need to draw any playable monster so we can start off with Polymerization first. Invocation, that's fine. Yep. And he's going to go this into a Secure Garna. Link Rebo, no, Secure Garna, right? And then make Ma Mekuba. I would just... Compl I'm completely okay with. Yeah. See? Yeah. Artemis. He's gonna make it, yeah. We just need one card that we can activate, guys. Like one playable card that we can bait out the stuff. That's all that matters, bro. Because we, we get access to Guardian Chimera first before anything. And then we can use Brand Infusion and go off, right? Mechuba does absolutely nothing. Cool. He's a shovel back Alistair. We just need to bait out one Mechuba and then that's it. Oh no, spell negate, right? Monster. If he has other spells in hand, he's just insane. I'm just assuming he has all monsters. So there's no way he has more spells in hand. I could be wrong, and it's an SSN Imperm. Any monster, any monster right now. Yes! Yeah, we, we use Brand Fusion last, right? We play, play with everything, and then we use Brand Fusion last. We max sees us. He has. He's insane. These two. Some little early on. Then we do Chain Links. Chain Link 1 discards this, and then Chain Link 2 Edge and Chain. He's, hey, if that's an Imperm. Negate and edge him chain. Is he ass? Discarding the max C. Is he ass? He called by it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He called by it. He called by it. His Alistair in hand. That's fine. It's the max C. Yeah, brand fusion. So we're, we're lit. If he has, if he has Ash, he has Ash Alistair. He's just insane. Oh, you didn't think I had this, huh? If he has Ash, he's insane. Oh. <gasps> Ring room and Albas and this, and it's pretty much game, unless he has nib too. You know, like he's just nice if he has nib. At that point, you know what I'm saying? We go this, add mirror sword knight. The, the, the combo is just too strong, bro. Like it's just it's just too powerful. And we get Quoto here, and then we send Quoto, get mirror sword knight, normal summon sword knight, and then play the game from that way, right? Maybe he has another droll. If he has droll, that would have been 100% punished on my end. So they say he has Ash here. Definitely has a response. Oh, it's, it's it's an Alistair boost attack response. It does it does nothing, All right? I know those ones. You know what I'm saying? So we go mirror, normal summon mirror sword knight. Don't play into imperm columns, okay? Just be careful. Normal summon mirror sword, triple mirror sword. Add that, and it should be game here. Activate this. Summon back, of course. Birth from If he ashes here, it's a good ash as well. Oh, okay. Birth from man. Birth from man is ridiculously stupid. Be what add two back back is just insane. Yeah, add back fusion and this also can revive back a monster from the graveyard is also insane as well. Add this. Yes, we add this. Do I want to play an into the nib, bro? Okay, he has nib in his hand too. That would actually be really punishing. But is there a way to play around nib? We get attack, attack, attack. This Alistair in hand. I think it's safe to say that we can play around the mirror. Let him waste Alistair. His follow ups will be completely gone if, if he wastes Alistair. Unless he already has two Alistairs in hand, right? See, he's not Alistair. Because who in the right mind is, is, is going to Alistair that? 
And this and this way this way that we play is we play around we play around the bureau as well. So this and we have access to of course uh Guardian Chimera now, right? Which is insane. So during the main phase we get to use that. You know, I, I also could yeah, you know, honestly, maybe I'm just playing around an invisible in the bureau that doesn't exist. Yeah. And we can also chain block this as well, which is insane. We can also mirror sword knight just negate it. Whatever he tries to do, Chimera Fusion will just beat him. We just go, uh, uh, you know, a Guardian Chimera pop it, chain, chain block. I, I think I think we're, we're lit. Coming in Amirage, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can also Mirror Sword Knight and eat that as well. Oh, he, oh, it's a light. That's fine. Does he have a spell? No, he has a spell. I told you, he doesn't have a spell. So you use these three guys. Guardian Chimera. Can be targeted as well, which is insane. We're gonna do chain links. Chain link one. Chain link two. Link three. I see the big beat up Macabre here. He has to go Macabre in the gate, chain Amirage, protect it. Yeah. Wow. He, he's just doing that. All right. He's not Macabre. This. I'm going to special summon Bring Broom. Okay. Successfully baited out Macabre. That's fine. Lots of chain links, guys. Yep. You add this. Summon this. Add this. Oh my god. Can't be destroyed. That's fine. It's cool. You already wasted the Alistair. Yeah, he can attack into our our, our portal. And then that's that's pretty much it. I don't I don't think he has anything else. Yep, can be destroyed. Illusion monsters can be destroyed. Now we can just simply go battle phase, bro. We can just, we can just, like, we just win the duel here, right? Activate this. Whatever he does, he loses. Mirror sword. Normal summon mirror sword. Activate mirror sword. I feel like he has a nib in his hand. Oh, nothing. Or maybe I'm just playing around an imaginary nib again. Okay, activate this. Get this. You get this. Let's get this guy out here. Let's go with this. That's fine. What the hell is this? Metal silver armor. All right. Cool. Sure. He, he took that out. That's fine. But guess what, guys? It's not once per turn. Oh, that's crazy. If we had a Chimera, we could have added to hand. Attack this. And now attack for 25. And it is easy as pie. Burferment. Attack for game. Yeah! Burferment! Ladies and gents, the power of Yugi Moto is among us. Ladies and gents, here we go. Let's go. We're going first again. Oh my god, this hand is so good. This hand is actually insane. This hand is actually insane. Let's normal some of this. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, he definitely has Maxi for sure. Oh, no Maxi? God, yes. This hand is so broken. Activate this. Search the fusion. Imperm. Oh my god. Imperm would have been crazy. That's fine. Okay. We use polymerization here. Use these two right here to make this guy this and this okay we get edge him out we do this yeah here we go chimera we get chimera here all right guys ladies and gents and then we use this effect here chain link one so we nuke the card out of our hand again chain link two okay and chain link three this adds one okay so this is this is like we're we're, we're going full combo here 
getting quarter here so we get another one yes sir and then this one adds frifer this one nukes card other opponent's hand during the end phase now we use uh quarter here okay i think we just add another mirror sword knight here oh no i, I guess we can add this go we'll patchwork here add this add this and then we use uh polymerization and this to make lubelion right make lubelion here yep and then we use chain link one send this and then chilling to bring back gazelle oh i can't target gazelle okay that's definitely a, a noob a new player on, on my end okay cool i thought you can revive back gazelle for some reason it arrives back an illusion monster not a feed monster okay i'll special the mirror jade here this is still insane the gates right here by the way guys unfortunately we don't have access to chimera fusion but if we did that, that would have been absolutely insane we move one out of point 10 cross out that's fine let's see what deck we're we're playing against here i guess we can send this to the grave we just do this on draw phase so he doesn't tactics us maybe we have two interruptions here that targets and also negates which is really good so we go this then we activate this effect here the search claw and also chimera fusion then we use mirror jade send albion search mana fusion yeah, it's pretty much game super poly wow wow Wow, Super Poly is insane. Yes, we use this as a material, right? We can revive back a monster from the grave, I guess. Damn, Mud Dragon. Okay. Add a card from the deck to hand. I'm going to add this. I guess we add Kit now. All right. You still have cards in the gates, guys. Mirror J triggers. This triggers. Summon Quartal. Yeah, guys. This, this, this floating technology is just too much. This is all in the draw phase, by the way. So he has to kill us this turn. If he doesn't kill us this turn, he loses the duel. He has to kill us this turn, basically. Unchained? Oh my god. If he has full combo through this. Shavara. Alright, bet. Oh my god. He had it. Wow, he had it. This guy had the two-card perfect combination for this. Is this summons? Yeah, it summons. We summon the gate, which is still really good. Disaster. Negate. Alright, sure. Okay. Can't even summon any unchained from the grave. Okay. What does that do? Rage. Trevor sets. Rage tries to link off negated. Best thing he has, he, he has to do is he, he, he has to crash this. He has to crash it. Yeah, he has to crash it. Still not bad. He, he still he still kind of like semi broke my board. And he scoops. Yeah, that that was definitely a misplay on his end. But this deck just has too much gas, bro. He, his, his hand was also really really insane. All right, ladies and gents, last and final duel. We get to go second this time, but do not worry, guys. Going second, we get to break board. So we're confident with this. We got Ash, Nibiru, Super Poly, Branded Fusion. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just vibes. He, he better have rollback. He better have rollback. You know what I'm saying? He better have the nuts. He better have the stones. He better have everything. All right. That's fine. Sends the droplet. Okay, sets another one. Okay. All right. There's another one. Insane. That's fine. Drop. Okay. Let's play this strategically, ladies and gents. All right, let's let's play this proper. Well, we have to ash this anyways. We have to ash it because if he brings out Lady, then we can't ash the big welcome, right? So yeah, we have to ash it anyways. That's fine. We have to ash it. There's nothing that we we that we could have done. There's nothing else that we could do. Like we have to ash it. Some of this, he's he's gonna get back. Yeah, this Silver Lady. That's fine. There's nothing. Yeah, and this is going to trigger to add back the clock to the hand. Just a bunch of cat, bro. It does, literally does nothing. Add that back. That's cool. Yeah. Probably roll back or a cannon. It's fine. Activate quarter. Here we go. Ash. Oh. Really? You think you're cute? 
Give me a cue, bro. All right. Ladies and gents, if I lose it, his hand, I'm just ass, all right? Can't ash anymore. Ring rum. Send this guy. Send this guy. Ring rum. All right, guys. This is breaking board, guys. My name is Yami Yugi. It's time to do. All right, active effect. Hopefully, you don't call by this. We call by you. We call by you're just nice. What do, like? What do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Like you're just nice with it. We go, uh, of course, uh, at Mirror Sword. Okay. Let's go normal Mirror Sword. Affect Mirror. Okay, we want to try to make uh, Guardian Chimera first. Okay. Mirror Sword here. Tribute. Birth from it. Birth from it. Add whatever too. Oh yeah. Birth from it here. And then we can change Super Fall here if anything, so we can dodge, dodge, improve, or anything like that. Insane. See, I told you. 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 And now you can't even chain uh, this. We Oh, we can't even make like Guru, all right? So good. So good, ladies and gents. Okay. This adds this guy. And then I had the other guy, this guy, and it's just perfect, bro. Activate this, summon back Mirror Sword Knight. You know what I'm saying? Now, now we just straight vibe, bro. Scoops it up, bro. Like, you're not beating this deck. Like, my hand was unbeatable. What, what, when I called upon the Pharaoh, what happens? I win. Ladies and gents, this is Yugi's new Chimera deck. Ladies and gents, tonight I'll be live streaming on YouTube at 6 p.m. EST. We're getting ready for the Bond is Unity drop tonight. Save the date. All right, guys. Tonight, April the 12th, 8 p.m. EST, TX1.com. Only 500 deck boxes available. The hottest drop of the entire year. Be there. Be square. Save the date. I'll see you guys on the live stream today. I love you guys. See you guys tonight for the drop. Love you. This was Yugi's Chimera deck. All right, guys. Peace.